Hello everyone, welcome back to the Traction YouTube channel and welcome to week 8 of the Dave Cam Pick and Mix Challenge, a series where you guys get to vote every week for what I race. Now this is week 8 of the series and last week you know we had a really good race at Donington in the F4, although we were robbed of the win on the last lap and Traction being the nice guys they are, they said Dave you can have one extra joker, so that means that I've got two jokers to use between now and the end of the season. Now, the thing with the joker is that if I gain I rating, I gain double. But if I lose I rating, I lose double. And I've got to start from the back of the grid. Now, as usual, you guys had five choices to pick from. And you've chosen the Porsche Cup car at Zandvoort. Now, because it's Zandvoort, I'm not going to use my joker. It's a notoriously difficult place to overtake. So I'm much better practicing hard and getting up to pace, which we have done. And we've qualified P3 with a 136.588. A couple of tenths behind the guy in P2, but only a tenth or so in front of the guy in P4. So can we continue the form from last week? Well, 17 laps around Zamvort. Let's get on track. Here we go then, starting P3. I think I would rather start at P4 on the inside, but it is what it is. Probably lose P3, the turn number one. Is 18. The air temp is Do the best we can. Sausages. Try and keep it clean. Try and keep it safe. Laps. Okay, Dave, are you ready? Watch for the lights. Go. Not the best start. Yeah. Left side. Still there. Clear left. Right. As expected. Try and consolidate now and not get punted. See what happens with these guys in front. Number one car qualified pretty badly, so he's obviously on a mission to uh, get to the front. Don't want to be dragged into a battle early on with Philip. Let's just let's just get away from these guys behind. Oh. Awful round that turn. Something's going to happen though. Guaranteed. Let's just hope it doesn't involve us. Gotta watch Vincent behind if we're trying to take some alternate lines because he's gonna be in there.
just done a 137 and 15. The car in front has just done a 137.36. That lap time was 137.31. Just nowhere by. Nowhere by unless somebody makes a mistake. I'm just gonna have to be patient. Just do what we do. Try and save the tires a bit if we can. Or push too hard if we don't have to. Try not to wheel spin the car. I've raced against Paxson before in P2 and he's uh He's a bit scrappy. He's a bit scrappy. That's the new fastest lap for Chan, 136.84. The leader has just done a 137.00. Okay, Dave, we're matching race pace. E4. The lap time was a 137.00. So there's a gap forming now behind Florian in P6. Oh, a bit late on the brakes there. Need to sort that out. Hopefully they're all still bunched up so we can keep in touch. Nobody's making any mistakes though, jeez. It'll be tough to do on 17 laps. And P1's cut with the pressure quite well though. Never nice being the leader of a, a bit of a train. Right, the gap's increasing to Vincent. Get off there.
Come on, Dave. Stay in touch. Again, we don't want to start fighting yet. I'm just kind of showing him my nose a little bit, just see if it does anything crazy. It's not cracking yet. Oh, wipers on. We expecting rain? Hope not. Now it's starting to get fruity. Okay, Dave. Lap time's pretty consistent. Chan is leading the race. How much does Lucas want it? Nothing good can come of going too wide into that little chicane. That little exchange with everybody has allowed Vincent to get back in touch. Paxson's running away with it now. smoother
Go one a bit wide there. I'm trying, Jim. I'm trying. It's tough. These guys have pulled away a little bit here now. I might not look it, but I'm, I'm trying as hard as I can here, folks. <laughs> I can't go any quicker. Just not skilled enough. Slider on that final turn. Gaps increased back to Vincent now, thankfully. We're matching race pace. You've just done a Getting impatient. There's a move coming up soon. Oh, I called it impatient. Right, head down now, Dave. Don't have any drafts, so I need to put a couple of clean laps in to try and clear Vincent. anything for Paxson.
It's imperative that we get a good result today. To keep this dream alive. <laughs> of beating last year's total. So, second place will go a long way towards that. Get off there. So Vincent's out of draft. That lap was a 137.59. Good consistency. Keep them coming. Oh, that's bad. And that. And that. So we lost three tenths on Paxton then. He made a mistake going into turn one. Closed the gap to 1.8 seconds, but then we had a terrible first two or three turns. And he, he clawed those three tenths back. You never know though, he might have uh, used quite a bit of his tyre. You know, in the first part of the race when he was battling to get to the front. Keeping him honest though, that's all we can do. Just keep, try and keep the gap. Just so, if he, just so he knows if he makes a mistake, we're gonna be there like that. She it's easy done, blimey. Three more laps after this one. The brake bias, I'm, I'm running 44 mainly, but I am going down to 43.8 for turn one. It's just in the bottom left of the relative. Don't, I'm not really comfortable going down any lower than that. There seems to be issues with the downshift. Not locking the locking the rear tires, rear brakes, locking the rear diff, should I say? When I go down further. Tell you what, the guy behind's not done. 
He's not done by any stretch of the imagination, folks. Axon's got his act together now. He's clearing off. That's all right. Two more laps. B2, two laps left. We're on for a podium here. Sector one is zero point three eight off the pace. Really tough combination, this one, though. Really, really difficult. It's much easier round here in the GT3s. Much easier. Lots and lots of tra trail breaking here. Right, no mistakes now, Dave. No mistakes. Because Vincent is on the prowl. Right, last lap, here we go. No heroics, just a nice, okay, steady lap. Keep it together, we'll be on the podium. That's all we want. Nice, steady lap. Only go as fast as you need to go. Vincent's pushing, though. He's closed the gap. We've closed it back down to Paxson as well. Look how close he is. again just to put me off You know what? P2. Yes. We will take that. Yes. Car number five, P2. Should be a nice high racing game, that one. Hopefully. In your face, John Monroe. Whew. Right, let's have a look and see what happened with the guys in front. Right, let's have a look at this incident. As I mentioned during the race, I could see the guy in the green car was getting a bit impatient. And it just goes for the closing gap. He's a bit too far back for the send. Number two just leaving room. But thankfully, Karma strikes here. Number four. Well, you're out of the race. So let's check out the results. So there were two splits in this one. This was the top split. Strength of field, 2,740. So we gained 0.24 safety rating. We needed that badly. But a whopping 63 I rating. Happy days. So there we go, P2, really happy with that result. Yes, two guys in front of us went off, but places like Zanvoort, you've got to be really patient. 
really disciplined and wait for the moves to open up completely. If you try and force it, well, that's what happens. A nice safety rating gain and a nice big I rating gain. So that puts us up to plus 258 I rating after eight rounds. Now, I'm starting to think that this challenge wasn't possible, but we only need another 138 I rating between now and the end of the season to beat last season's I rating gain. And if we beat it, then apparently I'm going to win some kind of prize from Traction. Who knows what that could be? But if you want to get involved, please make sure you check out the Traction YouTube community page where there will be a poll. And you guys get to vote for what I race next week. Please be kind. 138 I rating between now and the end of the season. Can we do it? Well, fingers crossed. As always, thanks for watching. Keep it pinned.